Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Today I thought I would try to uh, address a challenge that's coming up and that is to rebuild a ship from the past to uh, the new specs. Um, and I decided to do the uh, MX-5 uh, with that. Um, now I made this other MX-5 which is basically a reskinned uh, standard one in the past but both these have the, uh, the exact same problem and that is that they totally didn't utilize any of the new systems starting with weights and volumes, CPU and flight model which is really causing chaos with this particular build. Um, I hacked and slashed a stock MX-5 a lot over here uh, to try to make it work at a tier 2 range CPU and that's what I, I did accomplish that over here just but the ship's a mess. Um, I can barely, I don't have much CPU left over to put back in functions it did have. It's missing all kinds of stuff. Uh, the cargo is not balanced as well as I would like it to be. Um, don't, no longer has a spot for a constructor. Can't add the extra guns to it. Um, uh, just a lot of issues. It's kind of Swiss cheese too. I had to pull out all the RCS and there's holes in the ship and I'm not liking it at this point. I just, I'm not. It's just, it's kind of a mess and I can barely put it back together. So what I, what I want to do is rebuild it um, from scratch. Now I, I, I spent literally an hour trying to make these changes when I remember the MX-5 and I got lucky with it, but uh, I actually built the original ship, not the interior, not textured or colored, um, in about 45 minutes. So it already took me longer to do this than what it took me to build the whole ship and to start with. So that was kind of bugging me when I was doing it. So here I just set up a starter block. I threw on this, uh, an armored version of the same cockpit that that one has. And I'm going to make a few block changes, but I'm going to kind of rebuild this ship over here. And one of my big points on it is this has a lot of full blocks on it um, that aren't cargo extensions. And I want both basically full blocks to be cargo extensions at this point in time for two things. I need to put it in the cargo extensions anyway, and they're actually stronger than the steel blocks that are, are used here. Um, so I, I never quite fully understood the strength of the cargo extensions, but... I don't mind it, I guess, if you're going to build a chassis out of this kind of stuff, um, you know, and you're not you're not using combat steel or something like that, then you might as well just use the cargo extensions because they're just as strong as hardened steel, um, for SVs at least. So, yeah, I'm basically, I'm starting over here. I placed the cockpit and I'm kind of uh, lining up the, the new blocks around here, but I'm going to make a couple uh, body changes too because there's new blocks available that didn't used to exist in the game. And that is one of my big things here is I wanted to uh, kind of address that a little bit there. Um, to start with, on this model, it came out two blocks at this wedge angle um, from, from the cockpit center. Um, on this one, I'm going to change the second row to a different set of blocks to get in a intermediate angle. Now, this didn't exist when I built the other ship, so it couldn't have been done then, but now it can, and I'm going to try to utilize that some here. Um, we'll see how it comes out in the end there. But if it works, it'll give it a little bit more of a uh, I don't know, curve, I guess, along the sides. So I'm, ba I'm basically using this set of wedges here. And then I'm going to switch that over to this set. So it's, it's a subtle change. But I think it might make it look a little bit curvier than what it originally looked, especially along the front area. Again, I'm still building this out of steel, um, going up to hardened steel or anything like that. Just not going to be uh, a, a smart thing to do with the CPU tiers and all that fun stuff. Okay, so those came up to the height, going uh, just past the upper cockpit. So let's get in some of these blocks here. Now, basically, one thing I'm doing, too, is looking at any places that actually had full blocks right now. Right now, I want to put in cargo extensions, and then I'll try to link them all together. 
so I can basically lower down the block count um, that it's using and get in more storage in it. Um, but I don't like to use these partials as cargo extensions because they hold less and they do cost uh, CPUs just the same. So that is just one thing I'm trying to avoid doing and why I have such a problem with the other ship at this point. So far, it kind of looks like the MX-5, more or less. Okay, now up here, too, it also had, I think, some full blocks on the original right there. And then it went into another wedge. And basically, full blocks are being switched to cargo extensions, mostly. came up to that okay so that and this instead all right actually no those blocks were this here hmm this might still work, sort of. Well, let's just call it there. Okay. Moving on then. So here also is these. And then beyond that, it stayed at that height. Going back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven blocks but these are full blocks here so these are again going to be cargo extensions on this one three four and seven and then it kind of did the same thing on the next row out but this row is now angled which is fine So right now I'm looking at this row. Over here, they were all full. Um, yeah, might as well do that too. I'll raise this up until it meets. And then, and again, run into a bunch of cargo extensions. All right. And the next row out, this angle stays to... the same as what it is okay never did anything quite like this before like rebuilding an existing creation block by block um, but I'm hoping this works out and then I could uh, feel more confident in the ship that I uh, actually did utilize everything that it could use, use decently enough, um, basically with the cargo extensions and things like that. Okay, so when this comes up on the side here, it goes straight at that angle, four box, and then bevels out. Um, yeah, all right. Comes up four blocks and then bevels out. Ooh, not quite ready for that yet. Or actually, no, it stays. Oh, it doesn't go up to this angle. It goes to this angle. And then switches up to these. And does the bevel out into a curve. Well, there's new blocks for that, actually. So let's uh, get some of these transitions here, like this one. So now I can do a smooth turn, go out to the curve.
curve and then turn back. So I think we're one to one yet. And then right after that, it goes down at an angle again. through like this. Yeah, but it also goes in at that point too. Kind of like that. And then it goes flat. cargo extensions I'll be able to add into this thing now that uh, used to be steel blocks and that is kind of the goal and how I think I can get this to be have more function at tier 2 if I do this this whole setup here so that goes down one two three four so two full rows here um, and some of these cargo extensions might get eliminated after the fact too. I don't know yet. Um, see how that comes out or how much storage it can actually have. But it's nice to know what is a cargo extension without having to get the tool out to uh, look at each block individually, especially when they're kind of embedded in the hull already, which is difficult. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, ha I'm already kind of happy because literally all of these cargo extensions that are in this one here were not in this one already. Um, and that makes a uh, quite a bit of difference, really. It's, I'm going to use be able to use less blocks, have more interior space, have better weights and balances, I guess you could say, um, on this. And then, of course, i got to deal with thruster positions and things like that as well. Um, let's get back on the front here. So these go into that and then they go out into these wedge blocks here um, and I'm gonna try to keep this all steel yet for sure um, going to a bit better material I already know it's just not gonna work out with CPU at all the only thing I'm worried about though is my new angle there isn't gonna allow that side block in there very well, but that's all right. Okay, so that's about right there. All right. So now up here, stays flat, going two block rows in this point so these are just what, half blocks there yeah I think so all right and then it bevels up to there and then there's another full block row which would be great for tying the cargo extensions together and we have a drone hatch drone hatch was added in it did, the original model didn't have that either um, all right, so now down along the front here, just below that, we've got a couple of those. And that's where the light is. And then it goes into some weapon mount positions. Now I'm worried about these because Literally, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get weapons there anymore or not. Um, but I'll leave it how it was for now. 
So it goes that, and then two blocks in here. Again, with cargo extensions. And this area is where the weapon's mounted up. out to another full block on the other side so that's and then like this except on this on this version I'm going to change this one out and we're gonna angle it a little bit thruster positions. Um, on the newer model, I kind of ran thrusters out here. I cut them away from the center section and put them down up front over here. I think that works out okay, and I'm going to need these, these thrusters in there as well. So that's another road down from there. For small SV thrusters, I still like these because you can shape them. And I, that's what I don't like about some of the new thrusters they put in there is they only have the one model. So you don't have the option to do like these wedge shape patterns like this, which kind of sucks. I wish it did. Um, here, there's another block here I'm thinking about using instead of what was there orig originally too. Again, my goal is to have it look like an MX-5. Um, but if I got to make some changes along the way, uh, that's fine. And actually, the changes hopefully will be for the better. that gets to fills out a little bit more here I think I want to embed some more thrusters here there so we're gonna put those over here um, should I just use full blocks then yeah let's just use these okay so now the big big part of this thing is get the wings right so we angle out to see be one two and then flat that is where the tip of the wing starts that would be roughly here. Something's wrong now. This comes out. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, that's what I thought. There is another row here I'm missing. That's why everything looks funky.
here. Just do that, and then we go to another full block here. And then this is where the wings start. So that would be one block away from the cockpit. Now the wings start one block from more forward. We start there. Well, not on this version. <laughs> okay, so this is again, this is a bit of a temporary block line here. So I can try to place the wings that I had here and I gotta figure out which wings these actually were. Um, uh, what wings were they? I think there's something like these, but maybe not this model. The bigger one. These. Yeah, I think they were those. Okay, so. Oh, no, that, those are too wide. Way too wide. Not those. Something like it, though, I think. Yeah, those are not the right ones. Um, this one? No, that ain't it either. Uh, huh. Wasn't one of these types. Just trying to see what they look like on the inside here. Yeah, what wing is that? Oh, okay, so they are the wide ones like this, but. First, but not that one. Um, not that one. This one. No, not that one. Man. <laughs> uh, it's got to be this one. No, it's not that one. This one. Ah, couldn't see my thing. Is that it? That is it. Okay. All right. So we got those, and then here we got another new block that can be used for this curve at the edge. Um, now this one over here went three in between there and there, um, but in this new model these wings are one block back, so I'm going to make this two here instead I think to make up the block difference. Um, so here, let's get some more uh, extensions in the area. And that same wing, just backwards. Like that. And that's pretty much the back of the ship, too. Okay. So it should be technically the same length as it was now from here because that was pulled back a little bit as well. All right, so these side blocks that go up 
here they um, they go into one more shape here starts angling in again. Okay. That's kind of fun in a weird way. Modeling something that's already there. <laughs> So on the wings here, we've got uh, Gatling guns and a wedge row that's out a block from there. So and then it goes down to the wing. So one more here. And there. And there. Something like that. And then the guns. One forward and one even. Okay. I'm hoping in the end I'll have some more CPU available so I could actually add the guns I'd want to on this. Um, essentially, with going after POIs and things, one of the things that I like is to have some rocket launchers or something um, to shoot down the enemy turrets. It gives it a lot more function, I, th I think. Okay, so the Gatling guns are installed. Still kind of looks like the MX-5, although it's a little bit different, slightly. All right, so after that, that goes out one more row and then goes across. I'm just kind of curious on, um, with the, the changes being made, how much uh, blocks can I save in the build? Um, or how much more interior space can I get achieve out of it? All right. Plus the new thruster arrangement as well. Um, now these over here, I'm actually half tempted to take those back one row as well, so I can get in the angled ones and have them line up. And then uh, this block here is going to be funky though. Um, have to go with this. Like that. Okay, that works so. And then past that point we've got these angle blocks. Uh, actually they go out to the one thicker. But on this ship, it's going to use a different angle here anyway, so. Just follow that same angle through. That goes back from the thrusters. One, two, three. And then that widens up again. Now we're going to wind it up at this angle instead. Yeah, it works. 
fish out. So another set of thrusters are in back. Um, this whole area here is kind of dead though. On the original ship, it had its reverse thrusters here, but that doesn't work out so well anymore because uh, they're actually moved to the front. Um, because here it doesn't create the torque needed to turn the ship correctly. So, can't really do that. That area down there is kind of dead space. So I guess having these, these newer blocks like this is probably not a bad thing. Um, dude, it was not really usable anyway. Okay, we're at our center here. Okay, now the next big thing though is I'm going to need some thrusters out here somewhere maybe this, these should uh, widen up all the way to where they get to the thrusters at there Again, the sides used to play a big fact or a factor in the ship, and that's where most of the thrusters and things mounted. But that just doesn't doesn't work out anymore, and they, they've been already moved. So, what to do on the sides now? Um, I think I'm just gonna couple them back in. We'll see if there's any other parts that can work out there later on. about getting all these cargo extensions in the hall though I mean by the time this is uh, ready um, all that stuff's gonna be there and available and I just link it up and uh, I don't have to fill the interior full of cargo extensions which is gonna be a bonus Alright, so now I gotta think about lift thrust too. Now the other ship didn't have enough uh, dealing with weights and volumes, so I'm trying to uh, alter that on this one. Just, oops. Ah, ah, I meant to get out of these, okay. So, with that in mind, where am I going to get lift thrust on the ship at this time, I think, and how many? And should I use this thruster or should I go to a different model? Um, so these thrusters produce 185 and cost 123 CPU. My normal ones I do like have been these, which do 240 at 300 CPU. So how does that work out in comparisons? 123, 240. So 
So they're about double the CPU cost. But let's see what I saw. So it would be 364. You know, these are more efficient, I think. The numbers uh, for 123 CPU, this will provide 370. Uh, having two of these, 370 on force, where one of these would doesn't produce as much. Okay. But I have room for another spot up, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, man. Decisions, decisions. You know, for now, I'm going to try this and see how it turns out. Um, get rid of some random parts here. Stock up on some of these guys. I'm kind of doing this because I got the room for it. Um, three block high, I just soon use that space. And these are more powerful anyway, so... Kind of a win-win, I guess. And also the point on this was to try to get more lift thrust in. Let me just, what did this thing actually have for lift thrust even after I modified it? Um, this one was running three of those and I added a couple more in over there. Mm, I'm going to try to get three back here instead. So all these are about, well, almost twice as powerful as the other ones, and there's ten of them. So I think that should work out all right. I'm hoping. And I can hide them up far enough away from the interior to leave some space there. I got this big bulky side area though that I've got nothing really to put in here. Um, so I guess, again, it's a bunch of cargo extensions. Um, so on the original one, it went back and this kind of overhung by one block, which I'm not really liking either. So... I'm trying to taper that in a little bit, but keep the same general body line there. This model, we, we have it go there so it tucks in just a little bit better. Um, actually, I could go out another one. I gotta get the rear thrust in yet. All right. So, rear thrusters. Uh, Originally, I had another one up there, too. I ended up cutting it due to CPU. Um, but it was running. I think that might be enough anyway, so we'll see. Basically, it's got four of these that come into play there. Like that. Oh, that's they're too close to the center of the ship. How did I do that one? So I don't have enough room for the door with the block in between it. Ah, oh, somewhere I screwed up, okay. Let's uh, take these 
this out. Another block row there. And I see why I had these blocks different here. To make more room for the thrusters. And what we're going to actually need to... You know what, though? I'm going to take these thrusters back in a block row. I think that might work. Um, like that instead. And this block has to be of this shape. So it lines up on the edges there. And I think we'll be good at that. See why I did what I originally did there now. All right, so now down thrust. Um, down thrust is the, the least important, but uh, I think four. It looks like I got something up in this area here. So, oh, I got a gun right below there. Cool. So that, I think, is all the thrusters are mounted now. Um, got to make sure my storage containers are tied together. And I want to see how much is actually in here. Let's make a couple connections. And I know they already connect across the ceiling. And let's get a cargo container in here. Extension controller, that's it. <laughs> and you're at 6,000. I think it is all connected, except these front ones aren't. Yeah, holy crap. <laughs> 19,000. Well, wow, that's more than I was looking for. Um, hmm. I've got nothing else to put in this area. Um, it's kind of dead space, and I'm trying to use as few blocks as I can. Um, but 19,000 storage is just too much for this ship. Well, if you use uh, blocks as the hull of the ship, though, it's a lot easier to uh, get storage in there and free up space 
And actually, I think it's a little bit stronger for it, too, if you're dealing with a steel base material, um, at least. Um, but too much storage. And what kind of CPU are we looking at? We're looking at 11,000 CPU statistics, 15,000 uh, for the full ship. Now, it does have all the thrusters in, and it has more storage than I would like it to have right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is start cutting some of the storage so I can shape these blocks in places. So how about a bunch of this in a row up here. I think we're still connected, but yeah, now we're down to 13. Now 13 to 14,000 was what I was thinking. So we're, it's pretty, pretty close. Um, oh, and that's with all these not connected over here, though. Ouch. That shouldn't have made any difference whatsoever. Nope. Okay. But what if they were connected? 17. Can I make this work with 16? And I'm lowering the CPU by removing some of those blocks, too. So we're at, what, 10? Um, the warp core. Let me just grab a couple other parts that I know this thing's going to want in here. Warp core, pentaxid tank. Um, I didn't put any of the generators in. Fuel tanks. Um, it doesn't have ammo yet, either. up some room. Um, this is not getting a shield. Armor locker, detector, fridge. I have a feeling I'm not going to get a constructor in it again. But um, I can try to grab one at least. Alright, anyway, fuel and power. That is something I could put in these out of the way areas here. And probably some air tanks in places too. Just trying to not waste space, I guess. Um, now I'm trying to also trying to keep some of these parts away from the very front, which would probably take the most amount of hits if uh, in combat so I don't know how many generators I need but I'm gonna put in four for now um, this is already the bottom of the ship so I don't want to put any exposed parts on that row I don't want the generator right next to the fuel tank the fuel tanks there more in somewhere else. Oh, maybe I can bury some in the wings here. So we got four fuel tanks, four generators. Um, dump in some O2. Four O2 tanks. Trying to get a good assessment at what the CPU actually will be try to figure out how much storage is actually going to go in here. This is going to move, so don't mind the placement of where that is right now. And tech, oh, I already had some. Tax a tank. Not too concerned about the Wi-Fi and stuff like that. They're really, really cheap on CPU. If they cost anything at all. Okay, so we've got those in. Um... Uh, fridges are light on CPU as well. So 
what are we at? We exceeded tier two specs. It's probably because I got way too much storage in here. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is, God, that's such a great place to put the storage out on the wings here. <clears throat> but, um, Eh, nah, too much. I'm just cut out that whole chunk of storage over there. To lessen the CPU some. Enough and still run thirteen thousand. Hmm. Still, I think I'm going to have real problems with the ship, though. Um, again, I don't have all the guns I'd like to get on it. Uh, maybe it has too much thrusters. Maybe I put in too much lift on it. Um, these are fairly expensive, so let me chop out a couple of them. But I don't have the body done yet or any of the other stuff in. I'm already, like, cranking on CPU here. Maybe uh, 13K storage is too much. <clears throat> this, um, when it comes down to it, though, um, as you can see, the, uh, the struggling I'm going through on this ship to try to, you know, make it conform to a particular CPU and how much rust can I run and how much this can I do and how much that can I do. Um, I can't say this is... It's... It's kind of fun in a, in a technical aspect, but it certainly gets annoying fast, too. Um, where it's like doing all this finagling and messing around, trying to come up with this stuff um, and making sacrifices to what I would actually like to build um, a lot of times. And, and this one, I you know, of course, I could go to a Tier 3 with this, but it's, a, it's an MX-5, and I don't want it at tier three levels uh there's a big you know you need at tier three it puts it in a different range of ship and i would want something different at that um but at at trying to like make this into a tier two it's challenging especially if you want to get ample storage in it and things like that but um all this screwing around trying to make a chassis work um takes away from actually like building like fun ships to build um and that is i know a lot of you know some people really like the cpu uh, a lot don't um i'm trying to be neutral about it i've done quite a lot of cpu builds uh with the new system so far um and at the end of the day i wish it didn't exist honestly um i wish the cpu was just removed from the game entirely i uh still like building the best when i was just worried about class size how much the ship was going to cost and what did it do um and then i can come up with all kinds of you know my own range of ships you know if i build some crazy thing with bazillions of guns and combat steel and tons of thrust powers guess what it's going to cost a whole lot of in-game money and have uh, a, a long build time and other things other factors that you'd have to consider and when i when i actually like fire up like a game to play i'm not looking at building that stuff at least early on so 
you know, it's just, it's all about choices, I guess. Um, yeah, and I'm stalling out a little bit with this ship, and it, and, and it has a lot to do, again, with the CPU. I'm, I'm too worried right now that even though I'm trying to be as efficient as I can, that I'm running into too many problems here with the CPU. I don't know exactly what's costing me so darn much, but it's probably these new bigger lift thrusters I put in into play. Let me just see what storage I actually managed to get in this one. Um, so this one was running 10,000 and 1500 ammo. This one's running more storage at, oops. Well, actually I broke it again. Damn it. <laughs> uh, that. Uh, I've got unconnected blocks again. Well, I'll call this part one. Um, I'm going to do a part two to this one, hopefully tomorrow, and try to get this worked out. And uh, uh, I'll try to build a new MX-5. Um, I'll give it a different initial. It'll be a, a, a new build. I'm not, I can't replace a, an existing workshop build because it's a new creation to start with. So this will be a new ship. But I just got to dial it in, try to figure out how much storage I can get it, how it's going to fly. And that's another big unknown, too. I'm trying to do what I know and keep these thrusters further from the center of mass. And the original MX-5 uh, totally didn't do that. It ran most of the thrusters right at the center of mass. So that is a uh, tough thing to deal with as well. But... In the end, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. I'm sure I can get this to work. I just got to figure out what I can put into it at a tier two rating. Um, and keeping the exist existing function of having a warp core. But uh, for what constructors cost, I have a feeling that even with the other model too, I had to, I had to rip the constructor out of it. Um, which it still bugs me. This is a game about building, and they uh, took things like constructors and made it like hard to put in stuff because they cost so much CPU, which I kind of wish didn't exist in the first place, um, even now. So, yeah. So I'm just kind of done in the water if I even try to do that. Maybe this ship is just too big at Tier 2. Um, I didn't think it was all that big of a ship, I guess, but it kind of is. Um, you know, as in comparison, the uh, the recent Talon T2, that was also a Tier 2 ship. Um, just want to see how big it is in comparison to an MX-5. I have a feeling the MX-5 is bigger. Well, I guess they're close but yeah I do think that is a little bit bigger what did I get into this one this one had 8k storage ah so this one was running less storage it still has the warp um, it actually has more guns though it has the four rocket launchers on it um, but 8K storage, so that's a problem. I think I'm just trying to put too much storage in the ship, and then, of course, because of the storage, I'm trying to counter that and having too much lift thrust in here. But in the end, um, with all the storage being part of the hull, it should have a pretty roomy interior and it's um, probably more roomy than it originally was and definitely more roomy than what I did here by putting all the uh, storage blocks inside and not really replacing many of the hull blocks with them. All right, well, anyway, part one, struggles with uh, rebuilding the MX-5 from scratch. It, uh, it's coming, though. You can obviously see the, the general shape of the ship is there. Um, 
it's just finagling the storage uh, I was trying to to use less blocks in the build by using containers for full blocks that were in the original and I'm running now too much storage which is causing me CPU problems so I gotta cut some of those um, I don't know, should I, I mean, at this point in time, I used to like to fill everything in nice and neat, and there was other things like RCS, too, that you'd have to find room for and stuff like that, but you don't need to put those in anymore. Um, wasted areas, I'm always at the debate, should I just leave them open spaces inside the ship, or should I fill them in with blocks, but if I fill them in with blocks, it's going to cost towards CPU and add to the weight. Um, I could fill them in with, with cheap blocks like carbon substrate but it still adds a little bit to the cpu and just a little bit to the weight um yeah a, a lot of a lot of decisions and choices i guess uh we'll see how it comes out but so far so good uh, a couple other things before i move on um a little bit more texturing was done on this creel tripod thing um uh, got some inner legs done and a little bit more areas i've got some obvious areas that I need to texture here and along the back yet, but it's getting closer to getting textured. And then after that, I can start on the interior. On the space carrier, I did a little bit more of that um, yesterday again. Um, I haven't had a lot of time for Imperium as of late, so I only jumped on there for about a, uh, an hour yesterday and skinned more of the body, more of the bottom of the ship. Um, still not quite done on the bottom, but it's close. Probably another half hour or so, and I can get the, the bottom skinned or textured. And then I got to do a little bit at the front area and then some more of the flight deck. And then I can start focusing a lot more on the interior. And I, I believe I counted like 17 unfinished rooms in it or rooms that are either not done at all or partially done. Um, and then I can start getting into all the other tricks and bells and whistles. It's going to need like a big LCD directory system and um, finish putting all the lights on sensors and detailing and all the other fun stuff. Um, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a while before that ship gets released yet. I'm not trying to hurry it, and I've only got so much time to be building this stuff. In fact, today this is it for me for today. I've got to uh, uh, do some other things. Uh, install a generator in a buddy's house so um, we're having fun with that but uh, y'all have a good day hope you enjoyed this and hope you uh, I am curious to you know CPU and flight models been out for a little bit uh, and a lot of you that are into building probably I'm sure had to mess with it um, just curious on how, how do you feel about it after more time with it and a lot of patches that uh, have affected the CPU one way or the other, either uh, making it nicer or meaner, the, th the thrust power or the flight model and all that fun stuff. I'm just kind of curious because I'm, as kind of, you know, like, like what I said earlier, I think it stands true. I would prefer the game not to have the CPU, period. Um, I don't think it adds anything fun to the game. Um, I think it actually kind of limits creativity, like a lot of people have said. And I, I'm finding the same things on builds that I'm doing. Um, and what's happening more often than not is I'm building rectangles so I can get thrusters in, positioned in places so the ship can fly without using RCS because I can't use RCS because they cost too much CPU and don't do much, especially for HVs and SVs. They're almost pointless. Like, for instance, the uh, this tank here, and Ex Excalibur kind of showed this on... Um, one of his recent videos that has a little bit of uh, extra CPU available so you can add in some RCSs and he did and it didn't make a difference you couldn't even tell that like six or seven RCSs were added to this it was just like pointless waste of CPU in fact for what those CPUs cost you'd be much better off by plumping in more thrusters out in the corners of, of the vehicle they're cheaper and they're far more effective than RCS but then again you're going to end up with this crazy looking rectangle. Like all these new ships I'm building, um, Talon and Talon and this one and these other ones are kind of a base shape of a rectangle. And this one is too. I just, I try to hide it. You know, this is a big rectangle, but, um, you know, through the wings and other little theatrics, 
I'm trying to make it not, look not as rectangle-ish. But like, again, building a ship like the original MX-5, not really a good plan um, on building ships because of, you know, the shape of it. It would be, you'd be better off again with a, with a rectangle. Um, and that is what I really have a problem with the CPU on. Some, some of my, my ships work fine for that. They are kind of rectangles to start with. And rectangle is probably your most efficient shape for getting the most amount of space inside it as well. But in reality, who wants to build nonstop rectangle looking ships? It's boring, it's not as fun. Um, I wanna build ships that are crazier looking, you know, um, big wing extensions and different shapes and stuff like that. But with this, with this flight model, which you can't really avoid, um, you just you can't do any of that anymore. Or if you do it, it's it's so inefficient that it's not a good design. Um, and that that is a big problem. And that's that's where I really am not liking uh, the changes that were made. In fact, I would love to go right back to Alpha 10 and and kind of forget Alpha 11 ever happened. Um, I really don't like any of the two things that they put in there. Well, the two main things. All the other stuff is great. The new parts, the new models, the everything else. Love it. Um, but the core function of doing all that, I don't think makes the game better. I just don't. Um, you know, I, I guess it depends. How technical do you want this game to be? I looked at it as my, Minecraft in space. I wanted it to be fun. I didn't want it to be like, hey, you got to have an engineering degree to build a working ship in the game. It's just, it's kind, of, it's fun for some, no doubt. But overall, it's just, yeah, I want to create artsy, neat things that actually do work. But I, I, they're at odds. If I create artsy, crazy things, they don't work very well. They're a waste of cost and resources and and blocks and might not fly good or might not be possible to be CPU compliant at certain tier ranges or, or things like that. And that part does kind of suck. Um, now there's sure a lot of designs can work with CPU, no problem at all. And CVs and bases aren't a problem due to, to the limits, but SVs and HVs, yeah, they're a problem. They were always a problem in the past, though, with their RCSs. For whatever reason, the RCSs were so weak on anything that was a little bit bigger build uh, that they, you had to run entirely too many of them. So I don't miss at all not having to put in, you know, on some of the bigger ships up to, like, uh, like the MX-18 when they have, like, I think I crossed into the 300 range in, in RCSs on it to get it to fly. Um, and that was only, like, it wasn't even a Class 5 ship. It's like a Class 5. I think um, and it's just ridiculous um, CVs never had the problem because they had advanced RCS's but the HVs and SVs always have had the problem um, so I don't mind not putting those in to that extent but I kind of wish that say this didn't necessarily have CPU or if it did you know there were some RCS solutions for this um, that were powerful enough to make, actually make the turn the ship turn decent and you know fit in the balance good with how much CPU they actually cost. Uh, so you could build ships that weren't rectangles, um, add in uh, two to four RCSs, and and uh, still be able to add in other things you need in the ship as well. Um, and it would fly good. And you could kind of tune it by how much RCS you put in it. Um, but not, you know, but almost like to a factor of 10 times less than what it used to need. Um, I think would be close, uh, realistic number, 8 to 10 times less RCS. Um, but I don't know, I'm just ranting right now. Anyway, you all have a good day. I'm going to continue with this project uh, tomorrow. I just wanted to uh, just basically say some thoughts on what I think about all this in the in the background, and I and I'm I'm tr true and honest. You know, I I like to give things a a solid whirl, uh, 
because a lot of times, you know, if I jump the gun and say, hey, I don't like this or this and that, and then, then I learn more about it after the fact, then I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I'll take back my words. But so I've been, you know, rather than just complaining constantly, I've been trying to work with it and build what I can. And it's not like I, I, I dislike the stuff I've been building. It's just, um, again, my biggest problem is, I don't know, I don't like either the CPU or the flight model. Um, the, the flight model has its merits, but man, even like, I mean, the, the, this ship was in the game itself and literally I got to like destroy it, hack it apart and try to make it work again with what they've changed and, and not necessarily for the better, um, you know, stripping it down, moving all the thrusters around, realizing that the in, in shape in general is just bad for doing this. Well, I'm making it work by adjusting that, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll shut up. Y'all have a good day. See you later.